I was supposed to join a large practice in Tulsa. And uh, we sort of came here for our last interview before I was going to go home and visit my parents. And my wife met Dr. Rudy so long ago. <laughs> the first thing she says, well, this is where we're going to be. And I said, okay. And you know, if your wife's not happy, right. Because any hospital is like any hospital anywhere in the world. But more so than that is that um, the way I feel about my patients is exactly the way Rudy feels about them. And we're more like brothers than business partners. Well, we are brothers. And the point of the matter is, I don't, you know, if someone comes in and I think they need extra care, I say they can't afford it, but I can say, hey, go back and say, hey, we're going to get some things done, no charge. I don't get any pushback from anybody. And I've seen Rudy do it. I've seen Rudy tell me, he's had, tell me, you know what? We're here to take care of patients. God has blessed us immensely. You know what? We've been so blessed that, you know what? We need to give back. And I, I ask God to uh, take care of my patients and to guide me, and then I do the best I can. When you're, when you're a physician, you want to heal everybody, but you can't, okay? People don't realize that physicians themselves have, you know, we go home, we have pain when there's a bad outcome. We're not going to show it to the patient, mainly because the patient's looking at you as sort of the rock, but when we get behind closed doors with our colleagues, it's a whole nother story. Jesus cried, so do doctors. But we're not going to do it in front of patients. We're going to do it amongst ourselves. An electrophysiologist is a subspecialty of cardiology. Uh, when you finish cardiology, there are two tracks. You then go the plumbing track, that's stents, balloons, or you go the electrical track. I decide to go electrical. What I do is treat people who have heart rhythm problems that are electrical in nature. All heart rhythm problems are electrical problems. And there are ways to treat them with medications, with procedures, and some of those procedures, a lot of those procedures can be potentially curable. If you can control most of the actions, like no smoking, watching your weight, getting some moderate exercise. By moderate exercise, you don't have to train for a marathon. If you can get out and walk 30 minutes a day, four times a week, you're doing fantastic. Watching what you eat and just being com you can use common sense about it. Everything in moderation. Um, you know, for example, if you're drinking sodas, hey, cut them down, okay? Maybe keep it to one soda a day. You know, uh, it might be good if you could eat food, eat more vegetables. Um, it's okay to eat meat, but there are certain cuts, like a select cut. It is very lean. It's just as lean as fish. Okay? Eat more chicken. You know? <laughs>